LA Times columnist has been following the Royal family for more than two decades. This is a big deal. She's yes. joining us to share her personal experiences, okay, plural there, Multiple. with the family and some predictions for the next 24 hours. Good morning, Pat. Thank good you for morning, being here. My good people. The good people. <laughs> in this, I love your beret. Thank it is you. It's gorgeous. I love how everything you're kind of in, in tune with us in the blue. I colors. am, and look at the set. It's all perfect. Yes. Yeah. Royal colors, would you say? They are, although for tomorrow they're going to be black. Everybody mm. will be wearing black out of respect to the queen. Does this surprise you just how many people, the hundreds of thousands of people that have turned out stood in line for more than 24 hours? Is this surprising to you? I'm waiting for the count. It's going to be way above a million, maybe two million. Wow. When the queen's father died 70 years ago, it was maybe a half million. Mm -hmm. But for this woman who represents so much of the span of people's lives, of the history of Britain, it's not surprising that people want to be there. And you're, you can't take a picture while you're in there. You have to experience it in the moment. And I think that's something people will cherish. I'm curious to know, Operation London Bridge has been in effect for a long time. They've been preparing for it. Has things been going as planned? Has there been any hitches or anything? Nothing that I have seen. They have rehearsed and rehearsed. They've changed it as needed over the years. So everything is going like clockwork. And this is what the British do so well. You know, earlier we saw King Charles arrive at Buckingham Palace. And I mentioned King Charles and you go, oh, I've met him before he became king. What was that experience like? And it, multiple times you met him. He it was here in Los Angeles and again in New Mexico where he was dedicating a college in uh, part of his youth, wow. uh, youth uh, support program. And he was very genial, very personable. Mm -hmm. um, met the queen aboard the royal yacht. I've been aboard the royal yacht twice, which is more than Kate Middleton. And the only reason I can say that is because they retired the royal yacht. Wow, and you actually have what in that frame? I do. This is my invitation to meet the queen aboard the royal yacht. This was back when nobody thought the queen was much of a story. So they said, ah, oh, send the kid. Send so the, the kid, kid sure got no. to go. <laughs> and look at you now. Still and here I am now. He's kid at heart, huh? No, that's absolutely amazing uh, that you get to experience that yeah. and at least have those moments with them. Big speech coming up. Uh, the, the royal consort, Camilla, is expected to give a speech. What is she going to be touching on, and how big of a deal is it that we're going to be hearing from her? Camilla's great-grandmother and Charles' great-great-grandfather were lovers, the king and Camilla's great grandmother. So, so there's a history with this family. But she also, as you know, is very controversial because people love Diana, the Princess of Wales. Mm -hmm. And now here we have Camilla, who by the queen's wish becomes the queen consort, the wife of the king. So she's going to make a little speech that's a tribute to Queen Elizabeth, to her character, to her role in a man's world and to how much she meant personally to Camilla. And this is one of the ways that the public is being introduced to Camilla as queen consort. It's one of the ways the king is saying, this is my wife, this is your queen. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, the last time there was a queen consort was actually Queen Elizabeth's mother, whose exactly. name was also Elizabeth, correct? Exactly. What is a queen consort, and do you think that name will drop, the consort part? The consort will drop because it doesn't fit in the headlines, right. frankly, in the queen tabloid consort, headlines. Camilla, yeah. There are two kinds of queens. There's a queen regnant, who is the queen in her own right, and she rules. That's the one who's just died. Mm -hmm. And then there's the queen consort, who's the wife of the king, who doesn't have to be royal. The last ones have not been royal. Okay. Um, and she does not rule, but she's there with the king, and mm. sitting with him will be crowned in about a year's time in Westminster Abbey with the consort's crown. You have a wealth of knowledge here when it comes to this <laughs> stuff. To be very frank, I'm sure there's people out there just like me, I don't follow the family, I'm not too familiar with, with, with the family too much. When we talk about these royal funerals, are there going to be things that surprises you know Americans when they watch this funeral that may be different from what we're used to seeing? They may be surprising to Americans, but of course not to British tradition. You'll see things, for example, when the funeral people, when the people attending the funeral and the coffin comes in, they'll make a little detour in Westminster Abbey because the tomb of the unknown warrior is there, and that commands more respect than any king, than any ruler of any country. Oh, wow and everybody passes by it. Nobody steps on it or over it. And when you mentioned the Queen Mother, she was married in Westminster Abbey, and as she left, she put her wedding bouquet down on that memorial. Her mm -hmm. brother had died in the First World War. So you're going to see that, and people wonder, why are they doing that? And that's one of the reasons. Wow. Meaning, everything has a Everything meaning. has That's meaning. what is so fascinating to me, and there's a lot of meaning behind you being here in person today. Mwah. Thank you so much for Happy taking the Happy to do time. so. We'll see you shortly. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll have more right. coming up. We will have more from Pat later this hour. You can read her work at LATimes.com.
Yeah, and KTLA will continue to have live coverage of the funeral of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, starting early, 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. For the latest, check it out anytime at KTLA.com and our free KTLA Plus app. We'll have more after the break.